Follow these steps for a successful burn debridement in the emergency department. Burns that require surgical consultation to debride in the ED are greater than 5% TBSA, full thickness, or involving a specialty area like the face, eyes, airway, genitalia, palm or crease of the hand, sole of the foot, or if there is a concern for non-accidental injury or an injury caused by a treadmill. When surgical consultation for a burn injury in the emergency department is requested, ensure that adequate pain medication has been ordered and administered. Consider TBSA involved and anticipated length of debridement. For more involved debridements, such as facial or scalp burns, or burns more than 6% TBSA, consider admission for operative debridement and dressing application. Before you debride a burn in the ED, you will need the following supplies. Wound cleanser, 4x4 gauze, suture removal kit, curlex and cling, tape, and a tubafast garment. Wound cleanser, 4x4 gauze, suture removal kit, curlex, cling, tape, tubafast. You can ask the patient's nurse or care team to help you obtain what is needed. While you are gathering your supplies, go ahead and choose an appropriate dressing. The dressings available in the emergency department are Xeroform, Bacitracin, Aquaphor, Mepilex AG, or Silvadine. Mepilex AG is a long-term silver dressing and is applied to most partial thickness burns in the ED. It comes in a variety of sizes. One side has adhesive. Be sure to remove the plastic prior to application. We use bacitracin for minor superficial burns or in the diaper area. Aquaphor is applied to facial burns. We use Xeroform for additional coverage in the diaper area or over superficial wounds with bacitracin. We only use silvadine for deep burns like road rash or treadmill injuries. Xeroform and Mepilex AG are located in the code room. Bacitracin, Aquaphor, and Silvadine are located in the medication Pixis. Emergency department staff may need to assist you in gathering dressings from the supply and medication Pixis. Before debridement, take a pre-debridement picture using Cerner Capture. You are now ready to start the debridement. Cleanse and debride the wound using traction, ensuring all denuded skin is removed. Once the denuded skin has been removed, calculate the TBSA percentage. The palm, including fingers, is a representation of 1% of the body. Remember to use the patient's palm. The estimated percentage on our patient is 5%. Another method that can be used is the NSW app. This can be downloaded to your phone at no cost. You can use this app to color in the areas burned to estimate the TBSA percentage. Either method is acceptable to use. Please remember that burns greater than or equal to 15% TBSA should be admitted to the PICU within an hour of arrival. Patients with burns requiring PICU admission should never be debrided in the emergency department. Next, take a post-debridement picture using Cerner Capture. We are demonstrating with Mepilex AG. Make sure to place Mepilex AG sticky side down. Wrap with Curlex or Cling. Then 
Then secure all dressings with a tube of fast garment. Tube of fast garments are stretchy shirts or pants. They will help the dressing stay in place. Once you have debrided and dressed the burn, ensure the family has contact information for follow-up. Also, obtain the family's best contact number. Email NP Surgery for follow-up appointment with the child's name, medical record number, brief injury description, contact information, and preferred follow-up day. Please discuss with the family and order the After the Burn Education under Custom Discharge Instructions. Also, please order custom burn care instructions. This includes the burn clinic contact information. Finally, write the procedure note. A couple tips for success. Ensure adequate pain medication. Gather and prepare all supplies before starting. Email npsurgery at childrensnational.org with details.